Here's Lillard. Lillard surveying the D. All right, what shot meter is this and who taught the devs that this was a good idea? All right, so here's a bright side to this shot meter though. This shot meter looks like it's going to be damn near impossible to time. So maybe this will make more people turn the shot meter off, which means more skill gap. Now 2K could just, you know, take the shot meter out of the game, but... It's all good. Another thing is, this might not be the only shot meter. Remember this year, you know, we had the 17 shot meter and the current shot meter. I mean, maybe we'll have the 19 slash 20 shot meter along with the 17 shot meter. Also, you see a heavily contest is forced. Now, I know this trailer is obviously edited, but did they actually let Damian Lord knock down this heavily contested shot? And secondly, it looks like from this clip that Stamina is back. Now, obviously, we all knew Stamina would come back, but us dribblers, us ISO players, we have the hope that we'll have unlimited Stamina again, like 2K15 and 16, you know, the fun 2Ks. But I understand they gotta bring Stamina back, they gotta make money off their Gatorade. But I wanna break down everything there is to break down in this trailer. So there it is, Stamina confirmed. Arenas went quiet. The bubble confirmed? But the game never stopped. Alright, this might have shut down my bubble theory. So are we in an alternate universe where 2020 isn't happening? If that's the case, are we going to have like fictional rookies, fictional champions? I mean, this is current gen we're talking. This is the current gen trailer. So anything's possible. Come to think of it, in 2K12, the year of the lockout, didn't they have like fake rookies before the actual draft happened? Park size ups and play now my career and my team? Remember that article from that supposed former 2K dev said something about my world? I can't imagine something that big being on current gen. It is a possibility for next gen, but for now, this might mean overseas in my career? Yes, this is what we needed to see. The neighborhood is back sadly, but 2K Beach, so that must mean we're getting a new neighborhood. Now the possibility of the neighborhood three years in a row was looking like a certain reality considering we didn't think there'd be much effort on the current gen. Also when Xbox One and PS4 came out, 2K14 on PS3 and 360 was basically 2K13 with crew mode. So we had reason to believe we were getting the same neighborhood on current gen. But it looks like we will be getting a new neighborhood and we should all be excited about that. Wait, does this Kobe cover mean that there's a Legend Edition on current gen? Correct me if I'm wrong, but why would they show two covers if this is just for current gen? They don't show a release date. Does anyone know the exact release date for current gen 2K21? I know it's supposed to be in a month, but do we have an exact date? I would love to know. But, I broke down, just by everything there was to break down, there wasn't really much in this trailer, obviously it's pretty much a teaser, and plus it's current gen. But it was enough to actually get me somewhat excited. We got a new neighborhood. Uh, I'm not loving the new shot meter. I mean, I was planning on taking the shot meter off anyway. Especially if it's like how it is in 2K20. Where you have a advantage without the shot meter. But yeah, man. What do you guys think of this trailer? 
And was there anything I missed that you thought stood out in this trailer? Let me know. And on the end screen, I actually have a video breaking down Agent 00 Mike Wang LD2K and Alexis Morgan's 2K TV interview. And I would recommend checking that out. Also, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications if you're new. We're on the road to 6K. But till next time, I am out. Peace.